the other thing I have set up in my template here, uh, I've got uh, what's called dividing the track list, which is um, this little pencil over here. Uh, not many people seem to know about this feature. I don't really see it very often. But effectively, you can keep something up the top here all the time. Um, I find that very handy for marker tracks, although I don't really use the marker track function in Cubase. I think that's pretty handy function, but I've kind of always done it a different way, um, which is sort of a color-coded track. It's really just blocks, empty blocks on an empty MIDI track. Um, for me, these colors, like when I see this red, that means we're in the verse. When I see this green, it's the pre-chorus. Blue is the chorus, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> I can just zip around and I can just go through the entire arrangement. It sort of gives me a good idea of how the song's shaping up, um, you know, what the overall flow of the arrangement is too. So there's that kind of visual representation of it. But mostly it's great for just navigating around the song really quickly. And I think you know, obviously marker tracks, you can see the name of the section, but for me, this is even faster and a little easier to see. Um, so that's one thing that, you know, regardless of what I'm doing down here, um, this is always visible. And, you know, you can move this here so you can just have just, even just the top of that is enough sometimes. So yeah, and obviously, you know, um, increase the height or reduce the height. 